story that we've been our refugees and we've um, kind of overlaid it on today because today we've got refugees in Hull in the UK from different places. A lot of people have come from African nations where there's war, from Kurdistan, from Iraq. Well, people are coming here to start new lives and bringing with them some fantastic diverse, diversity and culture. And that we just found that an inspiring tale, and we wanted to think how, what the Huguenot people have done um, because, and as, as really good examples of what can happen to the people who are coming here today. Flower of kings and weavers, which come to foot on the mountainsides of gold. These are breathing for a queen and a thousand different colours, comfort of the soldier of all. And there's some amazing things coming out. Just the doing very, very simple, just the chinka pins and the high boots. Um, the simplicity, it's like a, a platform for very, very profound thoughts, really. And other people got creative and done different ways of uh, talking about their stories or their ideas. So I think we just go around in a circle. Huguenot, Gallic traveller, weaving her history, memory in the textures, stranger. I, I'm a London, I came up to Hull 40 years ago, and uh, the reason I came is here. Um, it's not a proper uh, chinky pin because it's got four words on the third line. <laughs> Hull, why here? Pin on a map. It's my life now, hope. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Empathy, caring skills, new life emerging, hope for the future, doula. Exile, long overdue, leaving and relieved, relieved to be leaving away. Because people tend to think about poems and they've got to rhyme and they've got to be like big thick chunky verses and meaningful. You can do very powerful things with very few words. I don't know if any, I know, I know I've certainly got the hairs on the back yeah. of my neck going quite a few times yeah, while people were too. reading yeah. their poems. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been a privilege to hear them. Mm -hmm. 